Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Um, okay, so I know you guys are super excited for this because this is another sketchbook tour that I'm coming to you guys with and I'm really excited for it because remember when I told you guys this book that I said I was going to work so hard on this book but to be honest I didn't even finish it because I don't know, I just... I just like to just jump from sketchbook to sketchbook, it's just it's just kind of like what I do, but I mean I finished most of it which I'm proud of, but I'm gonna definitely try and like finish like all the pages in my sketchbooks more, so just a little disclaimer, not every page in this book is filled with drawings, so don't get on me and be like, oh girl you need to, you need to use that paper, you wasting that paper and stuff, well I'm sorry, this is my sketchbook, I can do what I want with it, but yeah you guys, I'm excited to show you guys this, and yeah, let's get to opening up this book. You like my little sticker there? Yeah, I like it too. Okay. <laughs> All right, so first we've got some randomness and um, some floating eyeballs because, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's fancy and cool. So there's that. And then we've got this random drawing. I never liked this drawing. I know you guys are going to be like, why? Why do you like it? I don't know why I didn't like it. I just never really liked it. But you know what? I drew it and I kept it because I was like, you know what? I'm going to grow from this. And that's what we all should remember that we can grow from, you know, the drawings that we don't like and just get better. And then there's, um, you know, a sketch I didn't finish. And then another sketch I didn't finish. <laughs> until I finally got it right. <laughs> I finally got that sketch that I was trying to get right on this page and I know you're just like why didn't you just try and erase and do it on that page. I don't know why like as soon as I like messed something up on one page I decided to go to the other but that just it became a habit. It's a bad habit but you know it's cool or whatever. I'll grow out of it. <laughs> but yeah I think this is cute. I really should color it. That would be cute too. I'm definitely gonna start coloring my drawings more you guys. Another random eyeballs and nose floating in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Another little character sketch that I was just, you know, playing around with. What's on this page? Oh, some stuff that I do not like at all. This was just really fast stuff when I had an art block. You know how those days are when you're just, when you just feel like you can't draw like you've never drawn in your life. You just feel like you've just lost all your talent. Like, <laughs> yes, that is definitely what art block feels like to me. So yeah, I've had my art block days, my good share of those. I'll definitely share a video with you guys on, you know, how to get through art block and everything. I think that would be helpful. Okay, wow. You can see all of the under sketch of this <laughs> of this drawing right here. Like look at all of that red. Like this is from all of the I just don't like what I'm drawing and erasing it just under sketch. Like that's just wow. But hey, you can see the realness of it. You can see that, you know, it wasn't perfect. I was, you know, struggling, but then I got to a conclusion somehow. But you know what? It's cool about this pencil is that once you you know, use your pencil, the non, what is it called again? Um, Colorase pencil. I talk about this pencil all the time. How am I going to forget the name? Um, the Colorase pencil by Prismacolor. Um, you can actually, when you draw over it with the pencil, when you scan it into the computer and um, turn it on the black and white, then this will completely disappear, which is, I think is super cool. So yeah, that's a cool feature and then you won't see any more of the red lines. But yeah, I use my red pencil for sketching. And then, oh, look at that. A wasted page of nothingness. <laughs> yeah, you guys, that that's definitely something I have to work on. Like, I don't know why. I just was like, man, you know what? No, I'm going to another page. And then, boom, here comes Ariana Grande, inspired by her, um, something about you makes me feel like a dangerous woman. I can't sing you guys, so please don't bash me on that. <laughs> but yeah, this is inspired off of her dangerous woman look. And yeah, you guys, um, it wasn't, I didn't make it to look exactly like her. I just wanted to, you know, you know, draw the look. And I liked how it came out. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys so you guys can get a better view of it. Make sure this is focused because I don't know why my autofocus does not work, you guys. Alrighty, so yeah, um, you can, you've probably seen this picture on my, um, Instagram, and if you're interested, I've also put this, um, picture on, um, some pillows, was it pillows, and I think that was it, I don't know, I'll put a link to it, 
And wow, look at that. A page of regret and, <laughs> no, I have no regrets, but a page of just, I'm so mad at everything right now. I just want to scribble. You know, those days when you just get mad at your art and you just, I know, this is definitely a page I'm ashamed of. But you know what? Hey, it's okay because you know what? I'm showing you guys the realness of being an artist. You know, sometimes you have those days where you're just not feeling it and you're just, you're just upset, man. And you just gotta, you gotta take your rage out on a piece of paper. Sometimes you gotta do that, you know, as a stress reliever. <laughs> and then here's unfinished bodies and some sketches, some fast sketches. Really, really fast sketches. <laughs> Stuff, I'm just trying to learn, you know, sketch, practice. This is from that website um, where you can actually go to where it times you and you, it'll change the pose after, um, I forgot what the site is called. If I remember it, I'll put the link up there so you guys can check it out because it's really good practice and it'll time you. So you just draw within that time limit and it'll keep changing the different poses and everything. A lot of unfinished stuff. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, here's one of my um, drawings I did a long time ago. When did I do this? Honestly, probably wasn't that long ago. Probably was just in 2016, but I, I think this was 2015. I should really start putting the dates on my pictures. Yes, I know. That's definitely something I gotta do. Then another random sketch page. Wow, what? What is this? Like, can, can we just... Can we just add... Like, what? What in the world? You know what that kind of reminds me of? Calcifer's eyes from... Um, What's that movie called? How's Moving Castle? I love that movie. It's like one of my favorite Studio Ghibli films. <laughs> so, wow. Okay. This is a lot of just unfinished. Like, I just I'm going to skip some of that because that's just sad. Okay, here's another picture that I did that you guys have probably seen on my Instagram. Um, I'm going to definitely put my Instagram in the video so you guys can follow me there so you guys can see all of my art. I hope the lighting is good you guys. This one is one of my favorites. This is an Audrey Hepburn study that I did. I really really love how it came out. I was just you know scrolling on Pinterest you know I saw some cute little facial expressions of Audrey Hepburn. I was like you know what I'm gonna draw her in my style because I was really feeling it and I really like how it came out so I just really love how this came out. I really want to do more of these you guys like practicing expressions especially okay let's see what's next oh some more randomness <laughs> oh an empty page wow <laughs> yeah it gets better i promise you this is like just in the beginning of the book where it looks like this here's some more random random sketches I don't know why. Why did I put this here again? Was there something? Oh, so I could cover up that random floating face. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I put that there. Oh my gosh, this is sad. I just don't like looking at these blank pages, and I know you guys don't either. There's another drawing. Another unfinished drawing because I was doubting myself. Don't doubt yourselves, you guys. Like, I've just recently just stopped, you know, trying to doubt myself with coloring and I'm just gonna go for it. But yeah, I stopped coloring this. I know, I know, I should finish it. I'm probably gonna do it digitally. Probably not. <laughs> um, here's some sketches that I really like actually because I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna just do it, just do it. And I just whipped that pin out and I just was like, you know what, I'm gonna just do this from my mind and I do it all super, super duper fast and not even really thinking about it, just kind of going by what I've learned through muscle memory and just, you know, sketching, going with the flow. And I really like how these came out because it's just so natural because it wasn't, I wasn't thinking too hard, I just went for it. Sometimes that's what you gotta do, just go for it, you know? Not think too hard about it some more I really like this one I think she's cute with little bunny ears um, some more sketches I really like this pen that I had I forgot what it was called but I kept run running out of the ink but um yeah oh this one right here I really 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 want to 
wanted to color this like so bad you guys i don't know why i still have it but i'm definitely going to come back and color this i think i'm going to ink it and i'm going to color it because like i think that would be so cool to just color it i really like i really like tattoos you guys tattoos are just so much fun and i know all you guys have been asking me what this little symbol means that i put on all of my characters and this either means birth or raw. At first I thought it meant raw, but someone said it meant um, birth in Chinese. But either way, I like the meaning of both of them. Because for birth, you know, like I'm basically giving birth to my characters. So that's why I basically put this character or symbol of every one of my characters, whether it, whether it means raw or birth. So, because I just think that makes so much sense. I was like, wow, I'm using this character and I didn't realize that the meaning of it actually makes sense. So, yeah. And it's really simple too, so cute and simple. There's some more sketches. I love just sketching with the ink pen. And I was um practicing like Korean there when I was trying to learn it for for a minute. This one, okay. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about this one. Okay, for this one, I was up uh, late night. It was a college night, you know. I'm, I'm in college, just late night. I gotta go to sleep, but I really couldn't go to sleep until I finished this drawing. And actually, I had messed up around her eye area, and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna give up. We're not gonna give up on this piece. I decided I'm going to paint the top part of it white, kind of like it's another eyeshadow. And it turned out good, you know, because I just decided not to give up. When you don't give up on something, you can make something out of it that you didn't think that you could before. Like, it's absolutely amazing what you can do when you just keep going. You don't stop. You keep believing in yourself and you keep pushing forward with that drawing and you can turn it into something like way better than your imagination um at first i wanted to make these like roses but these are kind of like my abstract version of roses in a way and sorry the recording stopped i keep having that problem it's so annoying but um as you can see like her skin is like coming through here which i showed with the um the color pencils you see this page right here this is like all of my swatches you know because i gotta make sure the colors are right before i put them on my final piece because you gotta make sure that it, that is right because i definitely don't like messing up and just putting colors straight on the paper without testing it first because i had to learn that the hard way <laughs> but yeah um i think the skin colors came out good which were colored with all with color pencils the hair was with watercolor and i used salt to give it that kind of texture and then i went back over the picture with um acrylic this is actually acrylic paint with little white dots and the eyeshadow and the lip right there and yeah you guys it's a combination of mixed media here watercolor colored pencil and acrylic paint and i really like how it came out and i know a lot of people really 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 like this drawing so this piece or whatever and i like it too i definitely can't wait to do more finished pieces like this all right here's more sketches just you know just plain old sketches as a sketchbook should be just putting your ideas that just come to you really quick to it or if even if you don't have any ideas you're just trying to you know practice practice makes better and then there's another floating face because i'm just so good at that <laughs> and here's a cute little girl that i drew and then a girl sitting i really like this pink pencil that i got so i was like going ham with it a little bit another page full of that ink that i really really love and you know just me you know doing whatever with it here's more of that pink pencil this one um you guys have actually probably have seen the video on my channel if not you guys can check that out it's just a you know these simple watercolor sketches with these jackets that i really wanted to bring to life that i still probably will um because i really want to design clothes too or customize clothes so i just thought like these were super cute and um yeah you guys check out the watercolor video of me doing these two awesome fashionable girls i want to do more more little little looks like this this one was actually a little bit of a pop i don't know how that little mark got there i don't even know if it'll erase let's see i'm trying to clean this eraser off you know how like when your eraser is like dirty and like if you erase with it it'll get a mark on it i don't know how that got there but 
anyways, yeah, this this little drawing um, became popular on Instagram a bit because of the different colors, I guess. I, I was not trying to make it popular, it just happened. <laughs> I don't try to make anything popular, it just, it just happened out of nowhere. But I was just, you know, experimenting with different style eyes and different colors, and I really like how this came out. So, yeah. And this is all done with um, the Fabric Castell Polychromos pencils that I use. So tell me which one's your favorite, you guys. That's what they basically made out of this picture on Instagram. They asked people which one is your favorite. Either the red one, the blue one, or the green one. Okay, there's some more, some more stuff. This is stuff for, for class. I was just writing notes up there for class or whatever. So more of that pink pencil that I like. And then another drawing with a pink pencil. Another fail right there. <laughs> it's not a fail. We're not gonna call it a fail. We're gonna call it. We're gonna call it just a learning, a learning error or something like that or whatever. <laughs> okay, this is actually a picture of Quincy. I don't know if some of you guys know him, but there was a picture of him wearing this really dope um, hoodie and sweater, and I thought that looked super cool. I love Mickey so I was like you know what I'm inspired to draw this with the watercolor and whatnot and he actually saw this so that was cool so yeah um wow I guess I ripped off some pages here um okay this one this is just some you know more random sketches me practicing sitting poses I need to practice more sitting poses actually Okay, this page right here is actually a favorite of mine. I love this page so much. Like these drawings, I was trying to do a page full of like finished drawings, like rather than just sketches. Like, and I was doing really good with that. I don't know what stopped me. And um, this is just a little paper that I tore out because I was trying to figure out like how do you draw braids again. And so I was like practicing that. And then I don't know where that little random sketch of the girl came from. But yeah, um, this picture, oh sorry if you saw my legs there, it was just my legs, <laughs> a leg shot for you, there you go. And this picture actually got really, really famous on Instagram and Pinterest. I don't know how, but it just did and everybody really, really liked it. So yeah, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, I've seen that picture before. And yeah, you've probably seen it on Pinterest. So yeah, and I really like this one too. And... Yep, I really, really like this page. I want to do more, you know, finished pictures like that, or just fill the whole page with drawings like that. And then here's another little sketch that I didn't finish. Kind of reminds me of Moana a little bit. I definitely have to draw Moana. I still haven't done that yet. Don't worry, I will, you guys. Okay, um, this one, actually, I was at this a long time ago. It was a sketch of Kita from Atlantis. I love her so much. Like she's such an underrated princess. Like I love the underrated Disney princesses. Like but yeah, I really I was going to color this and everything. I don't know why I did it. But <laughs> I'm definitely going to be doing a fan art of her too still. Cuz I don't do a lot of fan art you guys, so I definitely want to do that. Okay, this was like a little thing that I was going to do. These are actually pictures of Kiki Palmer that I found on Instagram and I was like, oh, these are super cute and I was going to color them and everything, but I don't know what happened with that. But I said, it's all right, you know, it's all cool. It's another unfinished drawing. It's another cute little drawing of this girl. She's just chilling. She's just chilling, you know, kicking her feet about. Probably thinking about her crush or something. <laughs> And then this, you probably can tell who this is. This is an unfinished drawing of Cara Delevingne. I don't know why I didn't finish it. But yeah. Those eyebrows, her eyebrows is popping, y'all. Y'all, her eyebrows is always on fleek. They fleeky. Okay, this one, um, my boyfriend actually inspired me to do this. Cause I was like, uh, this is like in the stages where we were just still talking and like I was just, you know, super crushing on him. So like, it just inspired me to draw this. And that's how I was feeling that day. That was my mood, you guys. That was my hashtag mood. <laughs> so yeah, you see her booty popping and everything. But you know, I didn't mean, see. That's how I was feeling. I was feeling, you know, I still be feeling that way all the time. Thanks, babe. <laughs> 
Okay, this one. I know a lot of people like this one too. Um, I, I just found a cute girl on Pinterest. She just had this cute little pose and I was like, you know what? I'm inspired to draw it and I drew it. I just, you know, have the urge to just draw things I'm inspired by like super fast. I'm just like, oh, I like that picture. I'm gonna draw it. So, yep, I really like this one. It's really chill and laid back. Okay. Alright, this one is a random sketch that I really did not like, but you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Here's another drawing you've probably seen on Pinterest before. That's my drawing, of course. Some more random sketches. Some more random sketches. I don't know why I didn't post this. An unfinished ballerina that I was trying to draw. Blank page. Okay, um, this is my color study that I was working on. As you see here, I was trying to really practice a reflection of light onto color, and I really, really liked how that came out and everything. I really, really loved how that was looking, and I was just, you know, writing notes about everything. Warm tones, red for blood, purple for realism, reflective light, whatever. Um, I really like this actually right here. Like this is so cute to me. Um, I'm really inspired by Chrome Chrome Prince. I don't know. I think I was doing a live video at the time or something, and I had to tell someone or whatever who the artist was that I really liked or whatever. Um, or I was trying to find them or whatever. His name is Um Ilya Ilya something. I still have yet to figure out how to pronounce his name. But I love his art. Okay, this one was another one that a lot of people liked a lot. This is my final color study that I really, really loved how it turned out. Like, I love it so much. I really, really want to replicate this, but in digital form, because then it'll be a lot smoother. And I can really, like, you know, um, exaggerate that lighting. But I really love how this came out. Um, it's really just the reflection of the hair, because there was no light that I could really say that was reflecting on her. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to make the color of her hair be the reflection of the color on her skin. So, I think it turned out pretty well, you guys. But yeah. Eyebrows on fleek. Gotta have those eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> Some more random sketches over here. Um, this one is one of my favorites that I, um, I started coloring it digitally on the computer, but I didn't finish it. But hopefully I'll finish it one day. <laughs> one day. Hopefully. Hopefully I will. But I really, really like it. It says grateful right there, if you're wondering too. But I just think she looks really animated and cute and everything. So yeah. A little zoom in for you. I know a lot of you have seen most of these drawings too. This was something that I was going to do for my class. It's actually um, <laughs> a mermaid holding an AK-47. And I just thought, she's in a bathtub. And I was like, hmm, that sounds like a really cool idea. So, yeah, you guys, maybe in the future you'll see the actual drawing of that. Maybe, just maybe. <laughs> okay, here's some more sketches. Of course, you know, just practicing. Practice makes better. I need to continue to draw every day some random floating noses and ears yep I can see a lot of improvement here because you know I can tell oh look at look at that you guys I actually see a date I put a date on my picture wow I'm so proud of myself April 2nd nice <laughs> But yeah, I'm getting faster at drawing at this point. Then this is a picture that I did. I don't really like this red background. It kind of throws the whole thing off. I kind of wish I left it like that, but it was just an experiment. But um, I forgot what this means. Let me know if you know what this means. Um, it's either like hope or passion or love or something. I forgot. It's not love. I know what love looks like, but I forgot what this meant. But yeah, um, I decided to give her a little red accent glasses because you know, I thought that would be cute to give it a pop since everything else was just regular um, 
regularly sketched but i'm i'm really excited to start coloring you guys um i just kind of got back into it because i just decided to not doubt myself anymore and just go for it but yeah i'm excited to start coloring more okay here's a page of more floating eyes and stuff and this one i actually love this sorry that was my legs again i actually really really love the sketch of this girl that i did i just think it's so cute she's just chilling probably in class really bored you know waiting for class to end because you know how that is you guys you just want to get out of class you don't want to be there at that moment you just the teacher is boring you like what like i don't know what you're talking about can i just please leave like or like when the teacher tells you, um, excuse me, don't, I didn't tell you to get up and pack your bags, even if the bell rings, like, dude, come on now, the bell just rung, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here, but yeah, I, that was just a bunch of yapping, <laughs> okay, here's another page of randomness, yep, just random sketches, this is a little bag that I made, I thought it was cute, I don't know, Whatever. Some more sketches, doodles, randomness. I think, no, was this for my live? Did I do this in my live video? I'm not sure. More randomness. Um, an unfinished picture. Um, this was for mermaid. This was my first hashtag mermaid drawing, I believe. Wait, was it? I think it was my first or second one. I don't remember. I think this was my first one. I don't know. <laughs> uh, more unfinished drawings and sketches. Another something that wasn't finished. And this was actually for my live video that I did. But yeah. Um... Just, I, I wanted to do different colors because I thought that would be cool. Um, here's another um, drawing that I did. I posted on my Instagram. I'm sure most of you guys have seen this one. I really liked how this one turned out. Um, yeah. She's cute. And then some random, random eye sketches. And then this one, I, I really, really like her. She's really cute. She's biting her lip because, you know, when Bae is looking like a snack. Okay, at bay. I'm talking to you, bay. <laughs> so yeah. Um, this is a little flirty, cute pic. I'm sure most of you guys have seen that on my Instagram. Okay, this one. Um, uh oh, that light is just making that graphite shine. Don't you guys hate that? Like when the graphite just shines just too much. So I'm gonna hold this for you guys up here. So this is another one of my. Um, it's not really my favorite, but I mean, it's a good drawing though. This is, um, I was just kind of experimenting with colors too here. I didn't color the whole thing, but I decided to, you know, give her an accent of color for her skin and whatever. And yeah, she's cute. I really like how that came out too. Oh, I hate how the light makes the graphite shine like that. That's so annoying. Okay. Oh, more unfinished stuff. I think this is cute with the little fish floating above her. Um, if I can turn the page, I'll skip to it. Okay, and this is the last page of my sketchbook, which is a page of my boyfriend because he was just chilling and I was like you know what I'm gonna draw you and he told me to draw a galaxy and a moon and the ocean so that's what I did and yeah he really liked this he was so happy when I did this for him mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah I like how the how the galaxy part came out because I didn't think it would turn out that good actually and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me how to draw guys can you teach me how to draw guys I will teach you guys how to draw guys. Just give me a chance. Give me some time and I will show you guys. And actually, let me see. How many pages did I have left? I didn't even... only had two pages left. And these are like loose papers. But I only had two pages left of this book. So basically, I finished this whole book. 
I'm saying that I finished it. Hey, I feel like I accomplished it because, you know, I, I bought two two new other books and I was like, man, these books are so crispy and new and I just want to start them so bad. So that's why I'm showing you guys a sketchbook because I've got myself two like crispy new sketchbooks or a couple, like three of them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm done with this one. We're going on to the next one. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the sketchbook tour. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy I was able to show you guys this one. And um, definitely going to have a lot more sketchbook tours in the future. And before I go, I'm going to show you guys a couple of my new drawings. Because um, I just feel the need to show you guys. After all of those empty, <laughs> empty pages. Actually, look, this should have been in my sketchbook. This is another drawing that I did for Mermaid. I believe it was for Mermaid. And I really want to color it too. Because I gave her a background and everything. I really want to start practicing the backgrounds more so yeah that's cute I really really love mermaids you guys if you guys know me you guys know I love mermaids um, I'm trying to find the picture of Ariana Grande that I drew Here's some more sketches. I don't know why I put these sketches in here because this is not my sketchbook. This is my book for like my finished drawings. <laughs> what you looking at? <laughs> That's what that says right there. That's funny. Um, some more sketches that should be in my sketchbook. So these would be the, the two other pages that we're supposed to see in there. <laughs> Another one. I'm sure you guys have seen it on my Instagram page. She's just a cute little Pinterest stylish dope looking girl. And, oh my gosh, where is that Ariana Grande look? You guys, I have just been flipping through pages and just started to draw. Like, I haven't been going from page one, two, three, no. I, I go from page one to seven, 14, 18. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. So I'm like trying to find that page right now. A few moments later. Okay. So this is my picture of Ariana Grande. I really wish I did a video drawing this, but um, I really liked how this one came out because I don't know, I just like the, the style of it, it's cute. And Ariana Grande is just really cute in general, so yeah. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna show you guys my most recent drawing. It's my most recent drawing, you guys. I actually colored for a chance. I colored something. I'm so proud of myself. And I really, really love how this one came out. And yeah, you guys, I am so proud of this piece, to be honest. I'm just proud of it because I colored it, really. But I like how the colors came out, too. I gave it some locks. I'm going to do a tutorial on how to draw locks because I want to show you guys how to do different hairstyles. So yeah, you guys. Um, but anyways, my loves, this concludes my sketchbook tour. And I really hope you all enjoyed it. This is just some swatch, some swatches that I made of different colors. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. And love you all so much. And yeah, God bless and peace.